Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing um, just a quick grocery haul, very impromptu. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what I've been getting for the past um, week or two while I've been like seriously savagely breastfeeding hungry. Um, and I've actually been losing weight very quickly and the weight's just melting off while I'm breastfeeding. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what I've been eating food wise um, and what my family has been eating food wise. But this is for like about, would you say this is like a week or a week and a half? Would you say this is like a week or a week and a half's worth? Like a week. Solid week. Solid week, maybe like a, a week and a half. We do have like a lot of meat on hand, which I'll show you guys in the in the freezer. Um, this is just kind of the fill-in stuff and the snacks and the lunches. And this is about $150 worth of groceries for the week and we'll feed um, all three of us for the week. And that includes lunches, breakfasts, and dinners. So let's hop on into the food <laughs> okay so first off this is like torture for kaya not like being able to touch any of this so let's make it nice and quick oh yes put those back put them back all right so starting over here i've just got all of our food laid out on the island to go over with you guys and a nice pile of grocery bags on the floor okay eggs because i have like three scrambled eggs every single morning with pico so i got a ton of eggs i got 36 of them i'll go sit by dad Thank you. Cute. And then all the cheeses. You guys, I am eventually going to start cutting out dairy from my diet. But um, for now, I am going to keep it in um, the meal plan. So I got sharp cheddar, pepper jack, marble jack. I'm just going to like slice this up and then have it on some wheat thins. Um, I've got shredded cheese, feta cheese, feta, feta, whatever. Um, I will have this on salads. I love to have like a fresh spring mix salad, which I'll show you guys over here. And don't mind my bald nails. I need to go get them redone. Um, okay, so then I've got this spinach and artichoke dip. I've never had this before, but this was kind of a guilty pleasure. This was a naughty treat, but this is also really good with the wheat thins. Um, I just got a bunch of seasoning here. I've got chili powder. Um, cumin um, this is a new one I'm trying this is the brown sugar bourbon and basil so with these two we're trying to mimic the bourbon street chicken and shrimp from Applebee's it's me and my husband's like favorite dish from there um, and then I like to make my own taco seasoning so that's what the cumin and the chili powder is for so now we're kind of getting this is like a little bit of the snack section. I would say um, I got a family size of the tomato and basil wheat thins I got the ranch wheat thins. We don't typically get wheat thins, but I've been so snacky because I'm breastfeeding So these were okay options for me um, My protein oats and honey granola you guys I have been like on a binge with this stuff I probably go through a bag every three or four days um and this I use on my parfaits, along with this, the Light and Fit original vanilla. I will, um, my husband got the Greek one as well, and I do like that one. But um, yeah, just original, like Light and Fit vanilla yogurt. And then I have frozen strawberries, frozen sliced strawberries that I'll defrost and have like in a parfait with these. So that's really good for snacks, and oats are really good for breastfeeding. So highly recommend that. For you guys if you're looking for um, a healthy-ish um, breastfeeding snack. Um, now popcorn. I don't know what it is but this has been like my go-to for healthy snacking for the past two weeks ever since the day I got home from the hospital. So like nine days ago, eight days ago, something like that. Um, this has been my go-to. So I got two bags of this. Oh well. Wow. Um, and then on the weekends, I like to make Kaya mac and cheese for lunch. So I just have a few boxes of the shells and cheese, like just the Walmart brand. Um, oh, another quick um, little tidbit is I did do order pickup for all of this from Walmart. Um, I wish we had a super target where I live. 
but we do not, which is crazy because like Target was created in Minnesota and where I live doesn't even have a super Target, which is nuts, but that's where I would get my groceries if I could, but Walmart is the um, closest like grocery store to my house, so this is easy for my husband just to pick up on his way home. All right, so moving on, I've got Pico, because like I said, I do like to have Pico. This is the spicy Pico, um, and it says hot, but it's really not that hot, guys. It just has like a little bit of jalapeno in there, like barely, but um, this is really good with my eggs, and I have this with like chicken burrito bowls and things like that, so very yummy. Ketchup, because Kaya loves ketchup. Sour cream, because I feel I just like recently, there's been like two or three times where I've um, reached for sour cream in the fridge and I haven't had any, so that's just, whatever, just there. 2% milk for Kaya, unsweetened vanilla almond milk for me and Mike. Um, I like to have this with my iced coffee every single morning, and I do like to get the Starbucks iced coffee, but I have two in the fridge right now of the Starbucks iced coffee, so I'm good on that. Just needed a fill on my almond milk, um, I got a can of beef barley soup just in case, I don't know, I always like to have a can of soup on hand in case I like legit don't have any time to make myself anything um, or I need like an afternoon like fill-in meal if I need some extra calories while I'm breastfeeding. Um, so I just got like a beef, um, like a beef soup or whatever. Um, moving on to these cans right here. Okay, so this is just a lot of like the black chili beans. So black beans, chili beans. I like to use this in chili and I also like to use this in my burrito bowls or my taco bowls um, that I'll have for lunch. So I have just like a ton of them. I've got black beans, red beans, kidney beans, but these are all chili beans for, like I said, chili and burrito bowls. Okay, so like I was just mentioning a little bit earlier, I do like to have salads for lunches once in a while. I haven't been craving them as much ever since I had um, Riker, but I do need to start incorporating them more. I had so many salads when I was pregnant, it was crazy. Um, probably why I was able to keep my weight down so well, but anyway, I've got some spring mix underneath here, just a huge thing of it. Both Mike and I really like spring mix. And I've got some sliced black olives because I really like black olives on like my Cobb salads I do. I make a homemade ranch as well. Um, and then I've got avocados for that and for just like snacking in general. I've got rice cakes in my cupboard um, and my girl Erin Williams said that avocados are super yummy on plain rice cakes. So I'm going to try that. Um, and then I've got zucchini because zucchini is like a go-to for us on any side of a meal. So usually for dinners, we have a protein, um, a vegetable, and a carb. So that carb will typically be some kind of like healthier rice option or a red potato, sweet potato, or Idaho potato. This one fell on the floor and busted. Um, and then I also have cucumbers and cucumbers will go on those Cobb salads that I was mentioning as well. Um, along with the red onions. I love red onions on my Cobb salad, super yummy. Okay, so just for like kind of a filler, if I'm ever like finding myself really starving, I will gravitate towards this, um, like gravitate towards chicken broth or beef broth just to fill my tummy. Um, and I got the reduced sodium of both, so I got the chicken broth and then back here is the beef broth. And then way back here, you guys can see, um, I got the Carb Smart ice cream bars. Um, Kaya loves these, I love these, Mike loves these. They're just a little bit um, quote unquote healthier. Um, I believe they have like 13 carbs and four of those are sugar alcohols. Or, sh or four of those carbs are sugar alcohol, which um, technically is not counted um, as part of the carbohydrates. So anyways, these are really yummy. Not super healthy, but. But yummy nonetheless. Yes, I went lazy this week because I have a brand new baby. Oh, he's crying right now. He's not happy. He wants the he wants the booby milk. Um, I've got long grain and wild rice, original, and then two of these Spanish rice. 
and um, the Spanish rice will likely go with like um, taco bowls, burrito bowls, the long green and wild rice will use as a carbohydrate side. We got ground pork for um, carnitas or like pork, like ground pork carnitas tacos. It's just an easier way to make carni carnitas tacos, um, but really yummy with like some cilantro, hence the cilantro right here. Um, comment down below if you're a cilantro lover or a cilantro hater. We love cilantro in our house. Um, and then we have artichokes. Now we'll usually have artichokes either like as like an appetizer um, on the weekends when we're making dinner or sometimes we'll have it as a side with our dinner. It just depends on how we're feeling, but we really like artichoke. It is like a, just a really yummy, savory snack. Okay, just really quick. Um, the tortillas are for the pork carnitas tacos over here. So this is like probably the least healthiest thing in this whole batch. Um, these are just frozen pancakes. Um, and I like to get these for Kaya once in a while, just in case we have really busy weekends, which we do coming up. Um, these are nice just to honestly, just to like nuke them in the microwave really quick and give them to her. I'll give her this and then like a yogurt packet. Super quick super simple. Um, I've got a five pound bag of chicken breast in the back um, because I use chicken for like everything. We have a pineapple because Kaya and I love fresh fruit. We love pineapple and we love apples, but I don't necessarily like slicing the apples. So um, I got a huge thing. It's like $5 for this. So I got a huge thing of green apples. And then like I said, we like to have veggies for a side for dinners um, with our protein and our carb. So I've got two bunches of asparagus for two different dinners. And yeah, I think that'll just about do it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick before I go feed the baby what our freezer looks like. Now we have more meat in there um, for these meals that I've been showing you guys. Okay, so I've got another meltdown happening in the background, go figure. Um, but we've got chicken quarters right here and this is for a meal more chicken breasts and then underneath here I've got like a ton of like frozen beef and stuff so there's a roast I plan to make there's like some frozen um, this is like a steak for fajitas I've got some shrimp ground beef so as you guys can see I've got like a ton <laughs> of meat in here um, for those meals I was talking about our fridge is decently stocked as well but here's those iced coffees I was just mentioning to you um, and then we have like orange juice there's still things like in the fridge here um, but I do need to clean it out before I put the fresh groceries in. Um, and then these are the yogurts that I get for Kaya. These are the Stonyfield organic kids yogurt tubes. Um, and then we also have like fruit tubes and apple sauces for Kaya to just grab and go, um, along with some grape juice and apple juice. So, okay you guys, well as you can hear, I have a very unhappy baby in the background. He is getting his bun changed and then I'm going to feed him. That is going to wrap it up for this really quick impromptu grocery haul. Um, down below, I'll kind of leave like our meal ideas. I apologize for the really terrible lighting. We have awful lighting in our house, like in the kitchen. It's just awful. If you guys want to see more of these meal planning slash um, grocery haul videos, please give this a big thumbs up so that I know that you like this kind of video. Again, this haul was more leaning towards like for breastfeeding snacks and things like that and weight loss. If you guys have any healthy suggestions for me, leave them in the comments down below. Always looking for healthy breastfeeding snacks. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, I will see you guys on Thursday for my next video, okay. Bye, you guys. Bye, me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.